In the second video for nomenclature, we're going to look at binary ionic compounds. This time around, we're going to look at those that have variable oxidation states. And these would be the transition metals, tin, and lead. If you remember from when we did the periodic table trends, the transition metals or d-block elements did not have a specific set of values for what positive charge they form. Neither did tin and lead. So we're going to see how these work. And you'll find that they're almost exactly the same as what we saw before with a slight variation. So you'll notice that in the name tin 4 oxide we have the Roman numeral 4 and that Roman numeral 4 tells us the oxidation state or charge of the cation, in this case the tin. So any of these transition metals, tin or lead, with a few exceptions that we'll see in the future, will have a Roman numeral in them so that you know what charge you're dealing with. So we continue on like we did in the previous with binary ionic compounds that did not have these Roman numerals. We have a plus four or four plus oxidation state or charge for the tin. We've got a two minus oxidation state for the oxygen. That means our common multiple is four. If we take our tin and multiply it by one, that's going to give us a four plus. We take our oxygen times two, that's going to give us a total of four negative, which balances them out. We then get our formula as being SNO2, where we need one tin and two oxygens to balance their charges and be neutral. Very similar to what we saw with binary ionic compounds that didn't involve the Roman numeral being part of the name. So we'll do a couple more examples. Iron 3 chloride. We'll see that the iron is going to be 3 plus because of the Roman numeral 3. We've got the chloride representing a negative 1 for the chlorine atom. Our common multiple is 3. So if we take our 3 plus 3 for the iron and multiply it by 1, take our negative 1 for our chlorine and multiply it by 3, we'll get our, our 3 values to be equal and opposite. And our formula then is just going to be FeCl3. Copper 2 sulfide, in this case, the copper is a 2 plus and the sulfide is a 2 minus. Since both of them have the same number for the oxidation states, we don't need to worry about a common multiple. They are equal to each other. And therefore, all we need to write is CUS.